Hi everyone, welcome to Access Prescriptor. In this video, I'm going to explain eight variations of cordyceps activation exercise helps to improve your clinical practice. You can utilize this exercise when you want to strengthen your cordyceps muscle. Come on, let's get dive into it. So, first exercise in this cordyceps activation list is most of the physiotherapist's favorite exercise is towel based cordyceps activation exercise. Usually, you ask the patient to take some towel, roll it like this, keep it under the knee, and do press for 10 seconds and 10 times, right? Usually, I notice three mistakes while performing this exercise when patient come and visit my clinic. First mistake, we ask the patient to perform this exercise in a supine lying position. When you ask the patient to perform it in a supine lying position, the mistake which happens, they tend to compensate with the hip because already patients have a lack of cortisol strength activation. That's why we are giving this exercise. When you perform it in supine lying, they tend to compensate with the hip. To correct that, I always personally in my clinic ask the patient to perform this exercise in a long sitting position with back support. So I personally feel while performing this position, your body weight goes to bilateral hip or gluteal region so very difficult to little bit difficulty i'm not saying even though the patients doing this position also they tend to compensate like this but we have to correct by observing properly if this position might helps to avoid that compensation a bit second mistake which i noticed most oftenly the cortisols function itself to create the knee extension when you press the towel we are not educating the patient to lift the heel by activating the cordyceps. If the cordyceps getting activated, lift heel has to be lifted, definitely. So this is, this is a second mistake. The third mistake which most important is using towel. We should not use towel according to me because towel itself has some compressive force. So it's difficult to produce complete efficient activation of the cordyceps. So I always ask the patient to use some hardest uh, surface or uh, some equipment if they have whatever they have in a room usually my personal suggestion my personal favorite is to use the sandbag ask the patient to keep the sandbag under the knee it little hard it won't compress so if when they contract the quadriceps the muscle force can be completed 100% they can give the effort maximum to produce some quick quadriceps activation for further progressing this exercise we can use some foam roller by increasing the range of motion or, or uh, some other thing we can keep it what's feasible thing available in patient home or in your clinic you can use that to increase the range of motion for further progression we can add some resistance to the angle by engaging the cordyceps more we can activate more cordyceps in this way so progression is always necessary what are the exercise if you choose if you have adequate progression only you can expect the good improvement from the patient second exercise in this list prone quadriceps activation this is one of the easiest exercises to perform for the perform in front of the patient patient has to be in a prone laying position ask the patient to tuck their toes and ask to press it down on the floor lift the knee so this is how patient used to compensate first of all ask the patient to don't lift your hip try to make a contact between floor and hip only lift the knee lift the knee and they will feel the quadriceps nicely this way we can activate the quadriceps and for further progression you can add some uh, sandbag in behind the knee and ask to press it down lift the knee to engage more quadriceps increase the quadriceps activation for further activation we can also increase the height ask them to keep it some elevation or foam roller foam roller or small stepper or box whatever ask them to press it down now lift the knee it engages the cordyceps a little more for little more progression and advanced variation you can add sandbag behind the knee press it down lift the knee it engages the cordyceps well progression is always important keep that in mind third exercise in this list banded cordyceps activation you can use power loop band or thera band any other band place it behind the knee ask the patient to stand like this raise the heel bend the knee and ask them to lock the knee by pressing the heel on the floor Lock the knee by pressing the heel on the floor. For progressing this exercise, ask the patient to take the toe a little bit backward and ask them to press against the floor, the heel, to feel good amount of cordyceps activation. For further progression, you can use some stepper. You can use some stepper and some assistance. 
assistant you can also hold some stick or therapist hand or the patient to step up and lock the knee step up and lock the knee for advanced variation without assistant patient to drive the leg quadriceps activation this way we can achieve good amount of terminal knee extension as well fourth exercise variation in this list with the help of swiss ball also we can act activate the quadriceps like this place the swiss ball behind the knee with wall support ask the patient to press the swiss ball by extending the knee it helps to activate the quadriceps nicely for further progression we can use theraband as someone to hold the theraband keep it behind the knee theraband or power loop pull it back and with with the band resistance and ball press both gives extra activation to the quadriceps fifth exercise in this list swiss ball leg press ask the patient to keep the heel on the swiss ball then press and extend the knee nice way to activate the quadriceps actually and it is a light exercise this exercise we can give to the patients in initial uh, stages of the rehabilitation initial stage of the rehabilitation the only way to increase the resistance in this exercise by adding more air on the ball or using little more bigger size swiss balls while using bigger size swiss ball or adding more air on the ball make sure the patients have a back support to press it well next variation in this list it interesting one foam roller assisted banded knee extension keep the foam roller under the calf keep the foam roller under the calf ask the patient to hold the tera band or power loop band like this so bend the knee and ask the patient to with a help assistance of the foam roller extend the knee you can feel good amount of quadriceps activation if the patient can't able to hold the band by themselves we can also place the band behind the back like this activate the quadriceps the only way to progress this exercise also by increasing the resistance of the loop band or tara band next exercise in this list very very interesting retro walking very simple maximum no need of any equipment if you have treadmill we can also use the treadmill i'll tell you later first of all ask the patient to walk backward called retro walking by walking backward you can activate the quadriceps nicely and also it creates some stability balance on the body for further progression you can add some resistance band on the back ask the therapist to hold that and you can walk backward activating the good amount of quadriceps for treadmill variation level 1 we can perform with support level 2 we can perform without support level 3 you can add some resistance and without support we can perform eighth and final most advanced exercise variation in this list and this is most important for all the patient after some knee surgery or oa patients everyone face struggling in stair climbing down with unaffected leg with affected leg up they feel difficulty to perform so retro step up retro step up is one of the best way to perform initially to increase the eccentric load of the quadriceps by activating the terminal knee extension ask the patient to retro step up like this with a little slighter height slowly progress by increasing the height like this and slowly progress by increasing the height like this now an important thing patient should not compensate compensate like this if they are compensative you have to understand the height is too much or to reduce the height regress progress according to the patient tolerance finally you can increase into stepper actual stepper to perform better and also for advanced progression you can add this exercise in a eccentric way purely in eccentric way ask the patient to keep the affected leg up and unaffected leg touch down down by activating the quadriceps eccentrically The same exercise also can increase the height. For the more also, you can increase the progression. Keep in mind, progression of quadriceps activation is always the key. Show some variation to the patient, improve them. Don't stick only with the quadriceps activation with double exercise alone. 
hope this video is useful if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and share to your friends see you in the next video bye